Hi, I have a book called Axel Annie. Axel is the um, the bar that connects tires in a car. She's called Axel Annie. She's such a great driver. Do you see what she drives? What is that? It's a school bus. This book is written by Robin Pulver and the pictures are by Ted Arnold. In the town of Burskyville, the luckiest kids rode on Axel Annie's school bus. Axel Annie did magic tricks. She told jokes and sang silly songs. The kids couldn't wait to see her every morning and hear her cheerful call. Get on up these steps before I leave without you. She is a happy, cheerful bus driver. Winter packed a wallop in Burskyville. Whenever a storm came up, the superintendent of schools, Mr. Solomon, telephoned Axel Annie. It's nasty out there, Annie, he'd say. Can you make it up Tiger Hill? If you say no, I'll close the, sco the schools. My decision depends on you. Tiger Hill was one of Axel, uh, was on Axel Annie's bus route. It was the toughest hill in Burskyville. But Axel Annie's reply was always the same. Mr. Solomon, do snowplows plow? Do tow trucks tow? Are school buses yellow? Of course I can make it up Tiger Hill. And she always did. That's why the schools in Burskyville never had a snow day. They never had to close the schools because she was so good at getting the kids there safely. Shifty Rose did not like that. Shifty was the nastiest school bus driver in Burskyville. At every meeting of the Grutch and Grump Club, Shifty complained about his job, especially in winter. He grumbled about having to get up early to warm up his bus. He fussed about tricks, trucks sloshing slush all over his windshield. He belly ached about boots that made puddles on the bus. And I never get a snow day, he always said, all because of that Axel Annie. Oh, he's so angry. He doesn't like his job. Axel Annie likes her job, but Shifty Rhodes does not like his. He would rather stay home. One rip-roaring winter morning, Axel Annie's telephone rang. It's a blizzard out there, Annie, the superintendent said. Think you can make it up, Tiger Hill? If you say no, I'll close the schools. My decision depends on you. Mr. Solomon, Axel Annie replied. What does she say? Do snowplows plow? Do trucks, to to tow trucks tow? At our school bus is yellow, of course I could make it up Tiger Hill. She's always cheerful to do her best. Shifty Rhodes was still in bed. And now for the school closings, announced the radio. Every town in the five county area closed its schools except for one. And that's... Don't say Burskyville, pleaded Shifty. Burskyville, said the radio. All because of Ax Axel Annie, grumbled Shifty. He bundled up and headed for his bus. He is mad. He wants to stay in bed. Axel Annie was already on her way. When Tiger Hill loomed up ahead, she called out, Hold on to your ear, Buffs! Gun the engine, shouted the kids. Put your pedal to the metal. Axel Annie did. And she roared up Tiger Hill past the ditched vehicles and stranded drivers. Look at his car fell out. Her car fell out. Look at her. They're almost laying down. Going straight up that hill. At the top, she stopped as usual and called back to the snowbound drivers. Get on up these steps before I leave without you. And they rode along with the kids to school where they telephoned for tow trucks to pick up their cars out of snow.
out of the snow. Of course, Shifty Rhodes was in a terrible mood that morning. When the kids on his bus got the least bit noisy, he yelled, You drive me crazy! And the kids yelled back, You're the one that's driving, not us! Shifty was still mad when he ventured out that night to the Grouch and Grump Club. But then a miracle happened. A new member introduced himself. The name's Hale Snow. Snow's my name and Snow's my game. Hale explained that the new owner, he was a new owner of Burskyville Ski Resort. Business is bad, he grumbled. I even bought a sn new snowmaking machine. But who needs it? It just sits on my truck like a bamboozled bump on a blizz blizzard blasted log. The best days for me should be snow days when the kids head for the slopes because school's closed. But the snow blasted schools here never close. After the meeting, Shifty Rhodes collared Hail Snow. You know why we never get a snow day? He asked. Axel, Annie, that's why. And Shifty told Hale all about Axel, Annie, and Tiger Hill. Snarling snowflakes, exclaimed Hale. There must be something we can do. Maybe there is, said Shifty. With that snowmaking machine of yours? I get your drift, said Hale. Just say the word and I'll haul my machine over to Tiger Hill. We'll womp such a storm up there. Not even Axel Annie will make it up the hill. whoop de doo cheered Shifty. They're going to try and make this, the hill so snowy that Axel Annie cannot get up the hill. Here we go again. The very next Monday morning, Axel Annie's telephone rang. Who calls? Annie, said Mr. Solomon. It's the storm of the century. Think you can make it up Tiger Hill? If you say no, I'll close the schools. My decision depends on you. And what does Axel Annie say? Mr. Solomon, replied Axel Annie. Do snow plows plow? Do tow trucks tow? Our school bus is yellow. Of course I can make it up Tiger Hill. She is ready to go. Look, at she's got snowshoes on so that she can walk on the top of the snow and not sink down. Meanwhile, Shifty Rhodes was peering outside into howling whiteness. Yippee! He shouted and telephoned Hail Snow. No school in its tight in its no school in its right mind should be open today. Ah, uh, it's a wing ding of a snowstorm. Hale agreed, and my machine will make it 10 times as bad on Tiger Hill. Axel Annie will never make it up. Meet me there and watch the fun for yourself. Icy snow stung Shifty's face as he plodded to his bus. Finally, he revved up the engine and drove into the storm. So they're going to try to make the snowstorm on that hill so bad. Shifty's bus slithered and slid its way to Tiger Hill. Suddenly, Shifty caught sight of something in the road. He leaned on the brakes, but the bus skidded and bucked and plowed right into whatever it was. Uh-oh. He hit the snowmaking machine. Slid busting snowflake, Shifty, hollered Hale Snow. You clobbered my make snowmaking machine. Shifty apologized, but he couldn't feel too bad. Hale's snow machine had turned Tiger Hill into a monstrous mountain of swirling snow. Look at that. There are cars sticking out and you can just see the roofs of houses. Oh, will the bus be able to climb it? As Axel Annie's bus approached Tiger Hill, the kids held, yelled, Yikes! Hold on to your earmuffs! called Annie. Gun the engine, Annie! shouted the kid. Put the pedal to the metal! Axel Annie tried... But near the top of the snowy hill, the wheels spun, the engine strained, the bus was stuck. You can do it, Annie, the kids yelled, but for the first time ever, Annie wasn't sure she could. Would the Burskyville schools close after all? Then suddenly the bus seemed to sprout wings slowly and gently. It glided up, up, up 
to the top of Tiger Hill. Hooray! shouted the kids. Axelani looked around. It wasn't wings that she saw. It was all the stranded drivers that Annie had helped so many times before. Thanks a million! shouted Annie. Now get on up these steps before I leave without ya. Look at all the people helped her because she had helped all of them before. Then Annie looked again and saw two snowmen trudging up the hill, shifty roads and hail, and hail snow. When Annie saw the mingled snowmaking machine down below, the whole mean plot came to her in a flash. Axel Annie gunned her engine, but Shifty and Hale looked so miserable, she couldn't stay mad. Oh, get on up these steps, she called. Before I, we leave without you, yelled the kids. Shifty Rhodes had to pay all the money in his piggy bank to fix the school bus and the snowmaking machine. And then he skedaddled out of town and got a job on his cruise ship. He's tired of the snow, so he's going to go on. Hale Snow was sorry that he'd ever gotten mixed up with Shifty Rhodes. He thought Axel Annie was one humdinger of a woman. In fact, his business doubled when he named the new ski slope after her. Axel Annie, the Black Diamond Slope. Woohoo! Whenever kids headed for that steep and scary slope, they asked each other, think we can make it down okay? And the answer was always the same. Do snow plows plow? Do trucks tow? Our school bus is yellow? Of course we can make it down Axel Annie Slope. And they whoo, usually did. <laughs> I'll talk with you later. Bye.